Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with part one of my Lizardmen Let's Play for Total War Warhammer. I'll be playing as Krotgar in charge of the Last Defenders faction. And a big thanks to Creative Assembly for giving me early access to start my Let's Plays today. I'll also be doing a High Elf Let's Play with Tyrion and a Skaven campaign with Lord Skrulk, which will be out later today and tomorrow. And there'll be a full schedule of Warhammer 2 content plus my existing Let's Plays all coming back from Monday the 25th. So stay tuned for all that. But yeah, content on the channel is about to go crazy. So we're going to be playing this on very hard difficulty. We'll go through the faction effects and all that in a moment. But uh, if you do want to leave unit name suggestions for this campaign, some of you have already been doing that. You can do it via the QT. It's linked in the description. I've been using it for a while now and it's worked so much better than just trying to go through hundreds of comments on the YouTube comment section. It's much more easier to use QT to filter out comments because you can tag your unit suggestions under melee infantry, missile infantry, cavalry, monsters, and it just makes the whole process so much faster. It means I can get more of your custom unit name suggestions in the campaign for you guys to enjoy. So yes, do check out the QT, leave some unit name suggestions, and uh, I look forward to adding them in. I'll try and add some in maybe for part two. Today's episode is going to be an hour long. Uh, from then on, episodes should be um, half an hour in length, but every 10 episodes there will be an hour special. Now also, I always offer the opportunity for an early hour special at part 5 when I start a new series. If we can hit 2,000 likes on this episode, part 1, part 2, part 3, and part 4. If not though, totally optional, it's fine though. Um, you know, feel free to dislike if you don't want to leave a like or whatever, if you're not enjoying the content. But if we do hit 2,000 likes on parts 1, 2, 3, and 4, part 5, instead of just being half an hour long, will be an hour long. But as I said, part 10, part 20, part 30, etc. Every 10 episodes will be an hour long anyway. Okay, so let's briefly cover the Last Defenders faction effects, the Lord effects for Croc Gar, who we're going to be playing as, and also take a look at the race attributes. So let's start off with those. We've got the Geomantic Web. Settlements are linked by a network which boosts the power of commandments. We also have special spawnings. Periodic missions allow access to powerful blessed variants of certain units and beasts suitable for every task, though some are so ferocious that they may lose control and charge ahead. In terms of faction effects for the Last Defenders, led by Croc Gar, um, we have a minus 10% um, upkeep cost for all units, which is rather nice. Croc Gar has plus 10 leadership for his army, minus 50% upkeep cost for Saurus and Cold One units in his army as well, plus 20 armor for Stegodon, Bastilodon, Pterodon, and Carnosaur units in his army, and a ten, plus 10 leadership for Stegodon, Bastilodon, Pterodon, and Carnosaur units also in his army, and an ambush success chance of plus 25%. You also get starting additional units of the Feral Stegodon and Croxagors, so they should be pretty good. Playing on very hard difficulty, as I said before, so without further ado, let's begin this campaign. Since the days of creation, the reptiles have dominated the jungle continent of Lustria. The ignorant call the creatures lizard men. The wise know them as defenders of the world. <laughs> In ages past, the Old Ones had a plan. But then the Stellar Gates collapsed, the Old Ones fled, and demons flooded the mortal plane. Led by the Slan, the Lizard Men fought the demons that surged across Lustria. Yet, it was the Elves that created the Great Vortex. that siphoned the world of chaos, withering demon guide. The world was saved, but 
But the vortex endures only because it is bolstered by the power of the slan via the great warding. If the warding should fail, the demons will return. The forked tongue of Sotek hangs low in the sky. The slan have felt it. Now I see it brighter, clearer. Its hiss disturbs the winds of magic. Okay, so we have the starting bit there. I'm going to read through the little pop that comes um, up over this next panning overview of the campaign map um, because it's in Lizardmen tongue. Revered Master, Mazdamundi has sent me across the world pond. Wisdom of the old ones must be sought. Hunt amongst Southlands, plaques of old ones lost must be found. They shall guide our path. The warm blood squabble trespass upon our hunting grounds. If they not yield, then our claws shall be their fate. Great plan of the old ones must proceed. Death on those who oppose it. Thanks, Crotgar. So, how they play. The Last Defenders. The Lizardmen faction of Crotgar. The Geomantic Web. Settlements were linked together. Um, an unseen network of power that spans the world by increasing the power of the Geomantic Web. In a province, a Lizardmen faction can increase the potency of any commandments issued there. The spawnings. We saw this um, at the main screen before we jumped on down, but occasionally be gifted a set of warriors which may be recruited once a special mission has been recruited um, which be slightly more powerful it just sounds kind of like almost like a regiment of renown sort of version of a normal unit but it'll be interesting to see how that factors in the rat spawn horde plaques wrenched from ancient uh, wrenched from ancient temples lord mazdamundi bids us to strike recover sacred artifacts and discover enemy trespassers schemes Okay, thank you, Crocgar. So, mission issued. Rat spawn pest. So, we've got to get these these ancient plaques. So, I assume your yeah, ancient plaques are our ritual resource for the Lizardmen. So, here we go. Caption, occupy settlement belonging to the following faction. Clan Mordkin. Last defender. The Zalkata. Unnatural spawn of the rat infest our Southland realms. They squat in our lost cities and steal our lore. Purge their mighty Krokgar. Reclaim the ruins. Skaven inhabit their underworld, making their settlements indistinguishable from ruins until approached. And we'll get a thousand treasury and plus eight ancient plaques. So, and we've also got another mission issued. Knowledge of the stars. 
by You Can Do That. <laughs> I believe he's our character that's going to be kind of doing our rituals as such. Um, ensure that one of the following buildings has been constructed. Sacred spawning caverns, spawn pools of the braves, beast lair, scrying pools, skink for foraging camp, skink, uh, barrios, grand plaza or geomantic marker. One of the following buildings. Okay, so we're just going to get one of those done and we'll get 500 to our treasury. Okay, so we've got two missions already. Nice. And we have a skink priest with the lore of the heavens magic here is here. Ratok, well, you might well be our candidate for Tim the Skink Enchanter, perhaps? Or, or whatever we go for, our Tim the Enchanter in this series. Awesome. Those that don't know, I always name a spellcaster, uh, Tim the something, to do with that faction. Enchanter is a Monty Python and the Holy Grail reference for those that don't know. So where, where actually is Croc Guys here? There he is. So he doesn't have Grimlock, which is his mount, his Carnosaur mount, available at level 15. We can get a cold one before then, though. And I believe now for Lords, I'm not sure if it's the same for Heroes, but Lords definitely know now can go up to level 40. So more, uh, you can kind of diversify your characters a little bit more. There are a lot more skills as well to um, spend your skill points on as well. So that'll be interesting. So yeah, Crocgar, he's got... Two units of Saurus Warriors, Skink, Cohort, Javelins, Feral Stegodon, and Croxigors. Which are rather powerful. There he is. Um, what can you do? You can do Scouting, increase the parent army's chance of finding a magic item after winning a battle by 10%. And uh, the local effect for him being on the campaign map is increase the amount of untainted in the local province by 2. Cause, so because there's more corruption now, there's Skaven corruption, there's Chaos corruption... Um, and obviously vampire corruption the way of sort of keeping that in check there's no vampire vampire corruption here at the moment but the way of keeping that in check and knowing you know how corrupted you are is now sort of untainted is obviously if you aren't suffering any of those corruptions geomantic web strength is two tainted enables attrition for undead armies so that's good to get a message there we've got the geomantic web here so i've actually not had a chance to really test out the Lizard Men 4, so this is all new to me. So we can see here various levels. So we've got Strength 2 at the moment. So Strength 1 ruins and enemy settlements, owned and neutral settlements. Strength 3 is building Geomantic Pylon, allied settlements, Geomantic Spire and Geomantic um, Locus. Strength of Geomantic Web affects the power of the commandments issued across territories. Yeah, we know that. Settlement must be linked to another of equal or higher strength if it is to operate at its maximum potential strength. The colour of the rings around settlements indicate the current strength of the geomantic web there. A pulsing ring indicates that a settlement is not operating at its maximum potential strength. Upgrade the strength of the web in nearby settlements um, in this case. Okay. Definitely need to learn more about how that all works as we go through. We've also got this whole climates panel here so we can see what's suitable for us. Savannah, desert... And jungle, unpleasant is um, temperate, mountain, magical forest, and uh, temperate island. And uninhabitable is wasteland, frozen, and uh, chaotic wasteland. Now we still can actually, uh, we can conquer every single um, settlement in the game. It's just um, suitable, there's no penalties. Unpleasant, there's some basic penalties. And uninhabitable, there's some rather severe penalties for occupying it like... Uh, reduced public order, increased cost for buildings, reduced income, and I think it's a really good system that they've added in. So yeah, Geomantic Web. Okay. I'm hoping we'll get like a little message about how that worked a little bit better um, for now, but it seems like these two would be a good match. Um, we need to check our diplomacy to see who we're at war with. Uh, we're at war with the Man Blight tribe. Oh yeah, Beastmen and Clan Mordekin Skaven. So that's who we'll be going after First, in fact, they've got a full... Well, no, not a full set. They've got 16 Blade units you. there. Okay. Not enough warp stone. Early on, though, we should be able to take them out. And they're in a, they're in a stance which it really increases their chance of um, initiating attacks as an ambush. So I don't really want to get caught out by that. They're probably down at the Serpent Coast. We've already got Temple of Skulls. We want to take that and the Cursed Jungle, which is to our north. So... Can we build in here as well? Lots of stuff we can we can go for. What have we got already? We've got the 
underground lagoon for Saurus Spears and Saurus Warriors here. If we upgrade that, we get them both variants with shields. And then up from that, Temple Guard and Saurus Scar Veteran, um, a hero. But for the Temple Guards, we need the Weapon Crafters Commune. And unlocks the determining of the great plan technology. So that's pretty cool. What we've got, what we've got over here. Unlocks more technology. So it looks like a lot of lizard men buildings unlock tech. Growth, casualty replenishment. Skink fave, fave lass. Gets a nice bit of income. And old one monument for public order. Okay. Um, that give us skinks with javelins. We go up to tier 3. So ultimately I don't want to build a lot of my military. Well, I need this one here. But I don't want to build the skink building in Temple of Skulls. We'll build that in Serpent Coast. That's where that goes up to. Um, these will go up to tier 3 as well. So maybe a monument to the old ones. But what do I need now? Because I can always delete buildings and get new ones in. Uh, I definitely think we should recruit some more units before we go in against this Skaven army. I also kind of feel like maybe we should move back because I don't want them to ambush me. To attack and ambush. So let's pull Crocbar Croc Crocgar rather back in. And, yeah, let's get spears. We don't have any. We've just got warriors. Let's go for one more warrior and two more spears. We'll get Tim to move down here. Keep an eye on these guys. Right, what can I do? I can. Oh, I can try and block them. Yeah, let's try and do that. Was a failure. Ratok against Murta Scratchu Scar. Okay. Fun names. Oh, and we've encountered... Al Laquia. I am going to struggle with these names. It's going to be one of those Let's Plays. They're over there. Okay. Found them there, and the Beastmen are down here. Okay. Blame you, you. Right, let's upgrade for that, which is going to take our money for the turn. So, um, what about Lords? Don't have to worry, but there's no loyalty mechanic for uh, Lizard Men, so that's fine. Um, our right, so we should, should take a look at this, because they're interesting. Uh, and will help us out in various ways. So Rite of Awakening will get us a Slan Mage Priest. Available to any be recruited from any settlement. Um, Rite of Ferocity will give us extra unit experience. And for recruits, income post battle loot and local recruitment. It was attrition foreign armies within your territory. That one's right. Nice. Rite of Sotek. Ambush success chance plus 50%. Rite of Primeval Glory. That costs a lot as well. Uh, an army of feral... Carnosaur, Stegodon, Bastillon units will spawn at your faction's capital. Oh, that's cool, though. Nice. That has a 50 turn cooldown, though. Probably want to get that as soon as possible, though, because that's going to be rather useful early on. So, what do we need for this? Geomantic marker building. Okay, so. That unlocks. I'm chasing the old ones. Guessing that's the mark geomantic marker. Oh no, that requires oh that requires skinks. Oh no, they all require different ones. Okay, cool. Income post battle loot requires geomantic marker. Spawning foraging camp. Okay, cool. All right, we'll take a look at through those soon. I think we don't have anything else to do this turn, so let's end it. And turns are pretty darn fast. I do have this load up on an SSD of course, and if you do want to know my PC's spec, then it is linked um, on my channel about page. Also, I will show you guys my um, settings, graphic Your settings very quickly. Kind of oh, hello advisor. Of the world, ancient lord. Yet the younger races care little for the designs of the old ones. Deploy your ferocious warriors and wield your most potent sorcery. You shall impose the order you seek. Okay, cool. Right. Lost that army, I'm assuming. They're possibly in Serpent Ruin, so let's send an agent to scout them. And yes, of course, Skaven are revealed. They are there. That army that we saw has moved on in. Will, of course, be bolstered by the garrison. But I probably I probably shouldn't wait. I don't need a full stack to take them on. They are not the strongest. I'm going to move up through my land. 
Also, something on movement points now, you actually get to see the exact percentage, so you shouldn't uh, find yourself not being able to go into a stance because um, you're not, you don't have any, it, it looks like it's met the line or whatever, but it's actually like 49% instead of 50 or whatever. All right, we're going to go for another spear unit. Actually, two, oh yeah, that's all we can afford actually, just seen. Um, do you want another spear unit or another sword? Got two spears, okay, another sword unit. We've still got enough income, but yeah, actually, so we're not going to be able to push out much more than this really in terms of our army strength so we'll go after them very soon Ratok has upgraded so cleanse corruption scouting that's for yeah our various um, magical drop chance could block I want to pop him into my army I want to give him some spells actually to battle with so he's already got um, harmonic convergence that's what we can get for now so you can get a pterodon and then a stegodon that's pretty cool it's his mounts Arcane Vessel. Or Vassal, rather, I should say. He gets a Fireball attack. Or we get a Chain Lightning Comet of Cassandora. Cool, 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 cool. Looking at the number of skills he has available, it looks like agents are still on level 30. Would seem. So we'll, we'll pop him in the army. We're going to go attack these guys. Let's turn. But yeah, let me show you my graphic settings really quickly because I'm sure some of you will want to know. So I'm running at 1440p. GTX 1080 Ti, and that's what I'm running at. Um, I normally drop shadows down a little bit because I always find you get a bit better performance that way. Obviously, there's no blood effects yet, but as far as I understand it, blood DLC, or rather reactivation of blood DLC if you already own it for Total War Warhammer 1, should um, hopefully be out soon. I don't know if they maybe they'll wait till Halloween to do it around then or whatever. Also worth noting, um, colorblind mode is in Total War Warhammer 2, which I think is the first Total War game to ever have a colorblind, colorblind mode, so... That's uh, quite useful. Got projectile trails turned on and all that. Campaign settings. So yeah, this is something that has come back. Separate battle and campaign difficulties. Obviously, I'm leaving them both on very hard. And let's continue. So just end the turn. There's a lot of seemingly a lot of subtle tweaks and changes. Well, some rather more big changes. Oh, they're bringing all their armies in. Okay, I'm going to have a tough time with this. Challenge accepted. Should I actually take a look at my stances? Oh, that is a... The Golden Tower. That is a... Ancient plaque resource site. Our mission successful. We gain some more gold. You now have the facilities to begin technological research, my lord. It only remains for you to choose the direction of development. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, we're low on money at the moment, but I'm going to see what our chances are like here. That army's gone inside. Attack the one outside. We're going to draw a lot of them in. I hope we can, I hope we can take them all on. <laughs> what are our various stances, actually? What's this one? Astronomy. Capac movement range required to dock 25%. Reduce our range by 25%. Vanguard deployment for certain units. Chance of intercepting. Ambush defense chance. Oh, that's what we should do against the Skaven then. That allows replenishment and ambush. Okay. Put my agent in. I'm going to go for him. The enemy bring reinforcements to the fight. Will an attack be wise? Possibly not, because there's a lot of them. But they are all Skaven slaves and clan rats, so they're not exactly strong. These guys are strong, the storm vermin. But if we take them out, we should be good. So, take a look at the terrain. Got our crops, scores, and feral stegodon. The rampage ability. Let's go for it, Crocgar. We've built up our force a little bit to have a bigger battle. So, um... Let's do it. Battle of the Serpent Coast. Oh, definitely gamble. Oh, actually on the coast. That's nice. Start deployment. We'll gain a lot of, a lot of magic. So my priest... What ability have you got over here? Cold-blooded. 
Nice. Enemy reinforcements are coming in from behind. You know what? I'm going to do the old deploy here, smash the reinforcements, then turn on the main force, I think. There's their warlord, but let's take a look at my units first. Actually, there he is. Krokgar. And overall, I think the graphics have been sort of slightly tweaked and tuned up for Warhammer 2. Notably, like, the textures on units, just like all the scales and everything on the Lizardmen look a lot more intricate than what we saw in Warhammer 1. But there he is. Got Sora Spears. Saurus Warriors. The only weird thing at the moment is like I've got to get used to the kind of normal camera again because obviously I normally use the better camera mod, but as the game's not out, no mods just yet. But I imagine that one will be out very soon for Warhammer 2. Beryl Stegadon, I'm hoping you are going to rack up some kills. As I'm also hoping the Croxigor, uh, the Croxigor as well. 16 of them in a unit. So, let's go... Didn't mean to turn off the UI. Let's go bop these reinforcements. I want it converged, so I'm literally just going to use that um, my little skink to power up Krokgar. I'm going to pop these two spears in the trees here facing that way and skink co cohort with javelins behind them. I'm just going to rush these guys with my strongest troops in the front. And Saurus warriors. Buff up Krokgar. Bring you in, flank on round. Something I've noticed as well, there's now, I don't know if it was in Warhammer 1, but there's like dynamic clouds. So you'll see the battlefield kind of darken and lighten as obviously cloud cover sort of triggers. Yeah, as it's taken on, just get stuck in. Probably could have gone for that army straight away in that first turn, but just to make, just to make sure. Glad we've got some extra guys here. And the Skaven get their little buff when they want to try and run away. Rockgar, you're looking awesome. Oh, yes. I think he also has an animation where he throws his javelin as well and picks it up again. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> sort of missed him then. Absolutely wrecking these guys. I think Skaven do tend to come back. They tend to rally now and then. Cold-blooded. Just hit points combatants. Okay. Is that on just... Yeah, just him. So I might save that as a heal later. Yeah, more cloud cover rolling in. Really like that. Found when I was playing my uh, Dark Elf co-op with Pixelated Apollo. That just really added to kind of the atmosphere. So stretch, let's uh, take out this uh, Skaven Lord. Oh, the Croxigors are in there. I if we can see like the mist through the jungle. They actually come down from their hill. No, they've actually allowed their... Uh, they've not moved into support and they thought about it. I think the AI is pretty much panicking at this point. Like, no. Well, that's fine. That's worked out. I'm separating these guys out. Thing is... See, Skaven... Do tend to rally. Pull these skinks out of the way. You guys head that way. Maybe actually don't fire javelins because I don't want them too much friendly fire. 
So far, balance power is massive enough. Hey, we're up against a 3,500 strong Skaven force, though. And that's what I like when you come up against Skaven. The battles are much larger. Straight away from the off, we've got, like, a, you know, total troops over, over 4,000. Spears getting over there. We need to try and trap those night runners. Trying to take this lord down. You guys are either oh you say you're very tired or you're super slow. Right, those guys are broken. All you guys pretty tired. Okay. Well, they get tired pretty quick. They're trying to link up with their force up on the hill. They've got the high ground. He's also got a cold blooded heal. So it regenerates, but it also lowers their defense and attack for a while. Oh, these guys, these sort of spears have rampaged. So they're out of control. Ah, oh, but the Night Runners have. Uh, wait for. Oh, they go. So they throw their javelins as well. Noise. Okay, I'm gonna reform my army. Down here. Get back. I keep wanting to call this guy Tim because I'm pretty sure I've decided he is my Tim for the series. Not yet though. They get on actually keep you on the side. Everyone through. Hopefully these guys are gonna come back out of control. Um, back into my control pretty soon. I'll use that to buff you guys. Oh, you guys move super slow. We seem to give you guys a chance to replenish, to be perfectly honest. Yeah. Seems like you guys tire out rather quickly. Go off those slingers. Yeah, those spears have come back. Oh, yeah, they're healing. Get those hit points up. Go, throw your little javelins. Happy little skinks. Oh, you guys are out. Well, maybe you can catch these guys then. Is that the... No, that's the slave spears. I'm still skittering and panicking. I think the AI has just gone, well, up top. Now they're attacking. Let's pull you guys back. You're active. You're very tired. Active, good. That's what we want to see. Got to walk my... Uh, my lizard men a bit more. That triggering on the Skaven there, if I can get it to show, is this scurry away ability. Go after their lord. No, these guys are all oh, their halberds. Yeah, don't want to go up against them. Definitely not forget not up against those storm vermin. Buff up croc guard. Right, yeah, up against storm vermin will not be good for us. Run away. Stop moving these guys in. 
goes on the flanks, because these guys have been hit by everything in the middle. Go help him out. He goes to Croxicles, you're going to have to bash him a bit. It's not going to help you guys. Take it on. Right, hopefully let's watch some rats fly. Yes, take it on. That's it. And this guy's round over here. Oh, he's going down. Yes. Chase him, Crocgar. Exhausted again. Okay, let's just deal with these guys then. Rampaging as well, out of control. Go, take it on, go. More storm vermin in the center. Right, these guys broken. Let's move on down. Bring the Croxigors in because they got caught out on the side. Saw a spears. It's okay. So when they're rampaging, primal instincts. Hit points are greater than 50% base, it won't trigger. But yeah, they just out of control. Are you guys keeping the Storm Vermin busy for now? Storm Vermin are going to be tough. But maybe not for much longer. Well, yeah, let's buff up that Stegodon. Very nice. Trying to take out their lord up there. Storm vermin are broken. So with whatever we can still control, let's lob yourselves forward at these guys. But you guys get tired a lot quicker. You guys still keeping them busy over there. Slowly bring them down. They're at half strength. There's just so many of them. Go on. Go on, Stegadon. We doing croc guard. Throwing your javelin. That's yes, Stegadon, come on. Can't have much health left. 416. Buff it. Come on. Chase him. Turn them, turn them around. So many Skaven. You guys are holding your own pretty, pretty well for now, Skink Cohort. You keep doing that. Let's take it on, head over towards that group, big group. I need to get control over these guys again. If they'll out of the rampage. We get Croc go up here while I can control you. Oh, he's going after him. Get him. Get him, my future Tim. Oh, second one's coming in. Rip. Oh, 33. Where are the Croc Skulls? Oh, they're all there. They're just there. Just completely out of control. More Skaven are coming back, but I reckon if I take out their Lord. Does get mobbed by Skaven, but they are turning around and dealing dealing with them. This is weird to control so few <laughs> right now. He's definitely gone. He's don't think he's coming back, so he's got to chase these guys out. Victory's within our grasp, though. It's 
morale. Yeah, there we go. There's the morale penalty drop. Yeah, there we go. Whoo! Got it. We lost half our force, but we took out... Well, we'll see how much in a minute. Pyrrhic victory. Let's see how many we took out in a minute. So that main army lost 1,114. And the reinforcements, 511 and 213. Croxagors, 256 kills. Saurus Warriors. You look through those. Loads of kills. I'm loving how it shows you the amount here now, rather than having to hover over. So we can eat, kill and eat. We can sacrifice to Sotek for unit experience and leadership, or we can release captives. I'm going to kill and eat. Passive ability, the curse charm of Tipok. Krokgar. Okay. I should probably give that over to um, Ratok, though. Let's give you... Uh, what's that? That's a hex. We have a wind blast. Breaths are quite powerful, I've found so far. Oh god, do you not level up? Oh, close though. Uh, I wonder if we should knock this, knock this army away first, rather than worry about the settlement and then turn. But I think that's what we should probably do. Can we actually reach you though this turn? Oh no, I can't move out of range. I'm by the settlement, so I've got to attack it. If we go and fight it again, uh, we got the same predicament. Their lords are both super weak. Okay, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go in and fight. Don't think there's a specific settlement map. No, fight again, and we just need to target those lords down. Yeah. So one thousand two hundred and seven reinforcements. So if we take out a stretch first, just charge him. Although. Maybe, maybe not charge him. Reinforcers coming from behind. So yeah, we're in a Skaven under city. So we, we do have to push forward. I'll probably try and walk forward then if I can. I think, yeah, I'm going to try and put you guys on the flanks actually. Take it on over on, uh, take it on the center. Enemy reinforcements are approaching. Attack. Yep, they are. How quickly will you guys get tired? Even if I'm running you. Big lump of reinforcements over there. They're all still, for the most part, fresh. Got to take out that lord, though. Get him in there. So try a breath and you can actually rotate breaths and spells and stuff like that now by left clicking and then holding down and releasing yeah their lord's coming in let's get him okay gotta pull you back I definitely need to use cold blooded on you Go after the rest of them. Croc guard, take out that lord. Javelins, go after those night runners. Bounce powers quite nicely in our favour now. Sword spears have gone. Taken out stretch. Go, 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 go. Sigors, get in there. Go, go, go. Oh yeah, that's the other warlord. Nice. Go after him. Nice. Slamming. I love dinosaurs. 
Uh, Lab Lizard Men. Yeah, they're all going to break. And this is for their city, so after this... Oh, that heals up loads. That replenishment. That's really useful. So actually, yeah, I just shouldn't have used it on the... Um, let's use it on you, Croc Guards. Heal you up. Shouldn't have used it on the Soros Warriors last battle. Because obviously it's not, it's not resurrection magic. You want to try and pull your units back before you pop it in, though. Just knock all these guys back. Come on, skinks. Oh, you, oh no, the warlord's still there. Take him out. Come on. Missed him. Oh, look at him. <gasps> nice. He blew himself up with like the... <laughs> is it the hand hand of uh, hand of the gods he's got special ability? Nice. He just blasted his face off though with it. Think that counts as a sink kill? Got oh, you guys have rampage. Rage mode engaged. You need to use your, your breath a bit more. But there's so many of them over here. So we can do this and then activate the breath through, which is really, really nice. Got a lot of time for that. Magic also feels a lot more powerful in Warhammer 2. It's been given the uh, the nudge up the scale or two that it needs. Ah, oh, they've run away now. They don't do the wind breath there. Do it. Yeah, do it there. Breaths are very powerful, as you can see. Okay, they're only fan rats and all that, but still. Oxy Wars, come on. Face these guys off. Guys in against the last of them here. Do a breath attack in a minute. They're running. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. End the battle. Oh, we get some campaign map action in a minute because we've just had two like massive Skaven battles. Oof. Pest control. Do you feel like all most of the um, starting a few turns for the factions will come to are pretty tough as well. Okay, nice bit of loot. Good. Gained a rank with Krotgar. Even better. Those reinforcements will probably... I think they'll, they might be able to scurry away to win to fight another day. So we can raise it, we can sack it, we can loot and occupy, or we can just occupy. I think I'm going to loot and occupy. Even if we get a rebellion, that's fine. We can deal. Because um, we'll be needing to head north to link up this whole province anyway. That's where the next bit is. So let's just do that. Plus if there's a rebellion, we can use that as... Um, sort of free XP training for our lord. Mission successful, we gained 1,000 to our treasury, and we gained eight, eight more ancient plaques. Ratsborn seek territory to uncover more plaques. They must be denied. Ours is the only roar to rule the world. So, Ratsborn purge, maintain control of one province. Cool. More plaques, more treasury, because we need three thousand, uh, three not three thousand, three hundred and fifty uh, ancient plaques, and we currently have ten. Um, before we can go for ritual of um, prognostication. Yeah, so these guys did survive. Can't chase after them this turn. We've got the serpent coast now, though. So let's repair that building, repair the port, temple of skulls. Uh, if anything, actually in this place to build first, but we probably want more growth. So let's throw that in there. We can now get them with shields as well, so I'm going to go for regular Soros Warriors with shields to start with, then we'll go for some spears. I haven't got skink cohorts yet. That's fine, we're just going for massive melee army. I'm going to go for Root Marcher first. Oh, and we got we went up two levels within those, uh, those battles there. Predatory fighter, charge bonus, and weapon strength. That sounds pretty good. I'm thinking we can make Krokgar probably quite a basher. 
Looking at some of his abilities here. Obviously, we'll want to maybe look at buffing up his army as well. We've got Proud Warrior for Saurus units. That gives him plus 8 melee attack. Uh, he's obviously got all of these as well. Neutralize Chaos, kill the dwarves. I think I think you can put a point in each of these, which is why you probably, you know, the, the level cap's been pushed up to 40, so you can go through each of these. It's depending, depending on who you're up against. Obviously, you can see weapon strength against the undead, Chaos, dwarves, and all that, and Purge Bank kind, so you can go up against everyone. Honorable Elder, so at level 20, upkeep reduction again. It's pretty nice. Protection of the old ones. Obedience brings victory. Can't wait to get Grimlock. So level 7 we can get a cold one, which will be fun. And he's got his Revered Spear of um, Laxla. Laxla. Feel free to correct my pronunciation, guys. And then, of course, Hand of the Gods, which I think we saw. You know, that sort of animation in the battle there, that kill sync. So that's pretty cool. So he's got his quest pal to go get them to get more... Um, skills and abilities that spear plus 30 charge bonus okay i'm going to go for predatory fighter for now i think buff him up get get the replenishment in for the turn these are um mysterious islands so you can get send a lord over here and we'll get like treasure or something there's also another one over here really good early game to just send a single lord out or even a ship or something like that if you're like if you've got the uh the black arcs as the dark elves to search these so yeah we want to complete our province we want to get the cursed jungle to the north so, those Skaven, though... Um, they've got two more settlements, so I'm guessing down here, further south. Clan Moors is over here with Queek Headtaker. Uh, Wood Elf Realms. Welcome to the halls of Athelorand. Should have should have gone through this actually first first turn and definitely trade with these guys. Boom. Perfecto. Alright, Zorn. I mean, I'm not interested really after going going after you guys because of you've got a. Uh, Aye. Let's hear what you have to say. You're not in a suitable environment, so if we hover over this, we can actually see it's an unpleasant climate, so it's not the worst one. It's not uninhabitable. This one gives minus one public order, plus 30% cost for construction of buildings, um, plus, uh, minus eight casualty replenishment rate at that settlement um, and in that province, plus three turns um, for province capital settlement buildings, and income from all buildings, minus 15%. So you can still conquer everywhere, but it comes at a penalty, which I, I like that system. I feel that works really well. Right, let's... Um, researching objectives. I should say, obviously, for the Vortex victory, which is what we're heading towards. We need to complete all, all rituals and win the final battle. Obviously, you can do a domination victory as well, which requires you to take out the Cult of Pleasure, Nagarond, Order of Lawmasters, um, Lothan, Clan Pestilence, and Clan Moors. So basically take out the other... Um, fat playable factions in the game and maintain control of 50 provinces through direct ownership, vassals, or military allies. This guy's running off to Tio Ikea. <laughs> oh, let the butchering of the lands begin. Pronunciation. Interior stands a golden tower of great power. Many of the plaques that you seek may surely be found there, mighty lord. Yet others of your cold-blooded kind hold them from you in misguided service to their own masters. When you strike, and strike you must, then war will become inevitable. Dun dun dun, so... Capture and occupy the following settlement, the Golden Tower. Get 2,000 treasury and 13 ancient plaques. Unseen by warm blood eyes, the geomantic web binds the energies of your most sacred temple cities together, revered master. Encourage its growth, and its power will surely underpin the restoration of cold-blooded order to the world. Okay, so that one's linked up there, but it's not linked to this one. Which is owned a new settlement. I own this settlement. Why why are we not powered that? Why is that not connected up? Maybe it takes a few turns to establish? Those two are at level uh, strength two, owned and neutral settlements, yeah. Or is it because of or or is it maybe 
province based actually yeah because it was going between every settlement that probably get a bit annoying so maybe that's because that's that's one province that's another province that's another one okay so it goes to provincial capitals i think oh then it goes out here to tour um alazor and then down to one down there okay that's how it does it that's how it does it i've worked it out worked it out cool so if we have them all linked together and it'll buff our ah oh, uh, here, oh, here we go we can see here so level two Oh, wow, that's really good. But yeah, alignment of crafting by default is plus two public order, plus 20 growth, income wall buildings, plus four. If we got it to level five, the geomantic web, that's plus five public order, plus 50 growth, and plus 10% building income. Woohoo! And what, what else? What other commands do we have? We have com uh, alignment of monuments, alignment of order, gives us a hex um, army ability within battles for that area, and alignment of war, like that gives weapon strength buffs in that settlement. Um. Give me a while to the you're ready to upgrade, so let's get this one upgraded as well. Get another building, we'll probably get those skinks going. Or maybe an income building, actually. So, the golden tower is right there. I don't really want to declare war on these guys just yet. In fact, I'd even maybe see if we could get a confederation with them. That might be a better way to do it. So, for now, we've got an option of going up and claiming this settlement up there. Or continuing to push Skaven back, and I think we maybe should finish them off first. What we could do is send my priests over to take a look at them. But actually, I'm going to go grab this treasure. Mysterious island. Okay, stranger things. The site is home to an ancient shrine to a lost god. The place is bathed in power, and as your followers approach, angry runes upon the shrine illuminate their glow, a beacon the wary. Choose. Booms a deep, disembodied voice. Aggression, your arm will perform better in battle. Or Farsight, your arm will perform better in the campaign. Let's go for aggression, perform better in battle. Plus, ooh, 10 turns, 25 physical resistance, and we gain 1,500 to our treasury. But that has taken out all of our movement for the turn. I think. Oh no, we can get back. Cool. Fine, it's force march, replenish up. Can't recruit any. We can recruit in. Recruitment disband. Oh no, we can still. Ah, oh, we can switch. Noise. Cool, yeah. Um, well, we're about to run out of money. That's the only problem. That's the only problem. Oh, well, I say we're about to run out of money. We're about to run out of positive income. So, let's not do that. We can still take on. We've seen we can take on the Skaven quite nicely. So, let's send my agent out and get ready to scout. I'm guessing they're there. Take out that army before it gets stronger. I'm out of their stance. Okay, they're just standing by it. So yeah, there's going to be going to be a garrison in there. I'm sure. Can't get there this turn. So let's get within their territory. Let's go. Scout the ruins. Costs a fair bit. I wonder if that actually has... If scouting ruins... Oh, it... Mm, does that give us a bonus, like... Actually then fighting... Oh, clamrat spears, clamrat... Okay, yeah, no, they're fine. Oh, there's another army there, though, as well. Ooh. Vomik. You're making some very funny, funny noises there. Uh, Ratok. Curse the Midnight Wind, melee attack, armor, thunderbolt, um, strong versus multiple combatants. Let's go for that. So we'll bring you back next turn. Uh, you're not in my in their territory yet. Let's bring you in. I can go. Oh, that's good because that would be good ambush defense. Campaign line of sight increase as well, so we can see an army down there. Yeah, we're gonna need to just focus on taking these guys out. I think. Although, do we have one that would give us replenishment? We could actually go. We could go to ambush. Little chance there. 65%. You know what? You know what? I might get ambushed now, but I am... I'm going to give it a go. See what happens. Kind of hoping they'll be like, Ah, oh, you're not there anymore. Let's move. You're going to bring all your armies up and attack me again. They do seem to, like, mass their forces. They're just going to... 
they're just going to move every single lord they can possibly muster to me. Okay, and they're all going to they're all going to start recruiting units. Rival power desires a change in your mutual relations. Thank you. Uh Findol, um defensive alliance who are you at war with? Cut brotherhood. I I would actually prefer not to do that because I don't want to get dragged into wars the other side of the mountains that I can't see right now. Um, I'd be happy for a military. I'll give you not. I'll give you military access. Hmm, you really want that defensive alliance, don't you? It would be good if other people started attacking me. Like if I went after these guys. Your strength ranks is two. Is two though, and your survivor, defensive and capable. Oh, go on then. I'm gonna regret this, but go on then. Of your province grows, my lord. Over time, this growth will permit the expansion of your cities into mighty fortresses of war. Oh, goody. See that it continues so that you may further develop your realm. So, we're getting loads of missions to build up our ancient plaque, and we see the other factions all racing there towards the first ritual. Cool, cool, cool. I am thinking we don't. Oh, many plaques hidden in lost ruins. Rever Revered Master demands we find them. Sotek. Revile reviled rat spawn must not reach them. There we can do treasure hunting. Oh, and so, yeah, we've got to search a settlement for treasure. I'm not sure I want to go into those guys. I'd be tempted to actually go and sail past them. Go for the tem Temple Avenue of Gold. But then again, because that's, that's a full stack and a bit between them there. Plus those guys and the garrison. That might be a bit much. We could sail past them, but then would they follow? And there's no guarantee. They would. Hmm. They're all building up there. I think I think we should try and see if we can zip round them. Looks like there's um Serpent's Coast, yeah, some reefs that's gonna give us attrition as we go past that so they could they could actually move towards seven ghosts so what I remember and I'm also gonna get rebellion there soon in two turns at the temple of skulls so we don't really want to lose that so I might need to head back actually just steal that rebellion I have a feeling that's what we probably should do actually made a boo-boo um, right well let's pop you back here I don't know if you improve my public order. You don't. Not for now. The rebellion will appear at my provincial capital, though. So okay, we'll take the ship and go, go up. That's what we'll do. I don't think this game will try and come and attack me while I'm on the sea. Fast forward it. Yeah, they're encamping and just building up. So we're gonna have to defend against them, but that's gonna be easier holding Serpent Coast. The denizens are dangerously agitated, my lord. Soon they will take up arms against you. Yep. Move. I shall move, don't worry. Imminent rebellion, that's fine because we can get our force up. Then we can just go complete the province of the Cursed Jungle, or at least gain that. So yeah, let's move up there. Trotgar. Serpent Coast then. Might be an idea to go for something that gives us defenses. Oh, there's two different ones here. Scrying Pool, Unlock Technologies. All these ones obviously give us some um, garrison. Yeah, let's pop the garrison in for now. Try and defend up. Bring old Ratok back. Face a rebellion. That's fine because we can use that just to kind of power level Croc Gar up a little bit. Sequence of weapon crafting. Yes, please. There's the rebellion. And what are they? Like Skaven? Probably Skaven. Or Kingdom of the Beasts. Subjects here have taken up arms against your rule. No, oh, no. Lord. Move against their uprising, yes, Gaven. or it may grow to threaten your grip on this. No, my lord, the enemy raid your lands and slaughter. I your know. Citizens. Thank you, advisor. Astromancy may be used by your cold-blooded king to divine the movements of the enemy, revered master. Your keen senses can make you nearly impervious to surprise. Go land here. Yeah, the Astromancy stance. 
Very useful. The next turn, we go take out the Rebellion. It only got too big. Um, I can wipe them out. I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm going to go search, scout the ruins up here. Just to make sure there's no Skaven up here. Maybe that's... No, because we've seen the two territories. It's these two. Hopefully there's no Skaven up here. Green skins in the mountains. Lost Plateau. Dwarves of Character Zorn. Oh, there's more treasure there as well. You can't send heroes after as you have to send lords. Let's end the turn. We'll take care of this rebellion, hopefully with an order resolve. And then we're going to wrap up this first episode for now. But there will be another episode of this series out on Monday. But this series should be out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday going forward. Uh, alongside High Elves as Tyrion. And then Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays should be my Skaven Lord Skrulk campaign. In you go, Krokgar. Yeah, absolutely wreck them. 539 Krokgars. Oh, you're OP. In the order itself. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, Because we're in our own territory, I'm actually going to release captives. Get some more money. Because we're going to go after them again. Wow, Croxigors. Right of Ferocity unlocked. Nice. I actually didn't look at what we needed to get alright. So that's this one, which is Income Post Battle Loot uh, for 2k gold. Last for 5 turns. The uh, thing is, we're not going to have... I'm going to save it rather than drink it now because we're not... These guys are going to build up a bit. They're going to all come for some, but we need to get a full stack as much as we can down there, probably. Be quick with Krokgar. Um... Yeah, I will scout these ruins. Good, there's no one there. It's free. No nasties. But if we go up to the... Up there, yeah. This should connect up to the old world in the Mortal Empires Combined campaign. Right, so we can give you more magic rolling skies. Uh, or we can give you something for campaign. Cleanse corruption. Steal technology. Uh, wound... Additional t wounding tie. That's nice. Uh, block army. That might be useful. Let's let's give you curse of the midnight wind actually, because that'll be useful against the hordes of Skaven. Might have to just recruit another lord for a turn. Go and occupy up there, I guess. Krokgar, level four now. Enforcer of order. I think we should get that just because we're up against Skaven a fair bit right now, and it's also up against beastmen, warherds. Boxer Gauls again, wrecking face. Let's also release them again. Give us some extra money. And... I probably should move down towards the Serpent Coast, ready to defend. Doesn't look like the Skaven... No, the Skaven haven't made their move over here, so we've actually got the additional garrison already. So if I pop in Rockgar, and then maybe just look about getting another Lord, but that's going to cost a lot to send someone up there. Go for more growth and casual replenishment there. Well, we're going to end the episode there. Let me know your thoughts. Should we should we send Krokgar up towards the Cursed Jungle, possibly forsaking the Serpent Coast, but then maybe we'll be able to reclaim it later on uh, when we push back south? Or should we ignore the Cursed Jungle for now or we'll send a separate Lord up that way and instead focus on reinforcing Serpent Coast and maybe seeing if there's a way that we can disrupt these Skaven forces that are gathering in the south. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. As I said... Don't forget to leave unit name suggestions on the QT. I normally wait until I get a full stack of units, but for part two, I'll make sure all these guys are named. Um, so these 13 units alongside Krokgar will all have names. So get suggesting Saurus Warrior names, um, Skink cohort names, Stegadon names, and Krokgar names via the QT. It's linked in the description and comment section. Until the next one, I hope you've enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride and join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Green Man Gaming, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one. Ciao for now.